Hi, betting experts. On Friday the 20th of May, we're off down to deeper Sussex to Goodwood at Cracking Days Racing. We start off with our betting expert daily nap. This runs in the 210, the William Hill Height of Fashion Stakes, a listed contest over one mile two for fillies only, class one for three-year-olds, nearly 30 grand to the winner. And I'm going to go with... David Manuzia's progressive filly Ottilian. Now this one started off her career with one run at Ascot. She's then been over to France, winning twice. She returned with a really impressive display from the front at Chanty 37 days ago, making all the running and finding plenty, winning fairly readily on quite testing ground. She won't mind if any rain appears. There is plenty in the forecast on Friday. Whether Goodwood gets it is anyone's guess, but it's likely to be sort of good, good to soft ground if they don't get the rain. If it gets more testing, that'll suit or Tilly and Jamie Spencer's book so there are risks attached but I'm hoping he'll have his positive head on rather than his dropped out last tactics that often prevail. Ottilian seems a straightforward filly. She's already proven her stamina for this one mile two furlong trip. That's her strong point. There's more to come. She's only had four career starts. Manuzio warming up. He's got some lovely young horses this season. He's very much a yard to keep on side of. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 245. This is the William Hill Pick Your Places handicap. A seven foot on class two for four-year-olds and upwards 13 and a half thousand pounds on offer a competitive field i'm going to go with the exposed tintoretto to beat some shorter priced rivals who are lower mileage now tintoretto's run 36 times he's a very reliable performer he's no sign that his powers are on the way in age seven he's a five-time winner from those 36 starts five times in the frame he's two from 17 on turf he's a course and distance winner at goodwood um, he's got jim crowley book who rides this track better than anyone and encouragingly he's had a couple of runs on the all weather where he's performed with real credit now he only finished sixth at Kempton 79 days ago but he was a lot better than the bear result dropped out in rear in a slowly run race never really landing a blow finishing with running left in the tank if you watch the run back he's got ideal conditions he's down to a mark of 83 there'll be a strong pace on the cards here in this reasonably sized field and I hopefully can see daylight and come through late best of luck on Friday betting experts